guys, it is April from Getting a Go With It. Today I wanted to talk to you about the Pulitzer Prize winning books that are on my shelves, that are waiting to be read, and I know that I need to prioritize these. I've got 10 of them that I want to share with you, so let's get into it. first book I want to talk to you about is The Amazing Adventures of Cavalier and Clay by Michael Chabon. Now this was recommended by Russell from Ink and Paper blog and basically anything that Russell says I should read I kind of go out and look for uh, and this was highly highly recommended by him. This is about two cousins. One of the cousins is kind of an escape artist like a Houdini kind of escape artist. And he escapes um, the Nazis and he flees to America, to Brooklyn, and he meets up with his cousin Sammy in Brooklyn. And there they decide to create a comic book and they create a comic book that reflects their fears and dreams. And so they create different comic book characters like the escapist, the Monitor, the Luna Moth, and it's their story of their hopes and dreams. It sounds wonderful. I love that it's World War II set. I think that's really exciting and I love the cover of it too. It looks like a comic book. I really want to get to this soon. The next book that I really want to pick up is by Carol Shields and it's The Stone Diaries. Now, this is about a woman who in 1905 is really trying to place herself in the many, many roles that women are expected to take on. It follows her as she gets married, as her husband dies, and uh, through motherhood, and also when she gets remarried. And it sounds like she finds solace in writing a, her own novel and being in charge of her own story. So I'm hoping that it's good. I mean, it's Pulitzer Prize winning, so usually those are pretty awesome. So yes, that's The Stone Diaries. Next up, I am definitely wanting to read The Hours by Michael Cunningham. Now this follows three women in three different time periods. We follow Clarissa, who is a modern day New Yorker. We follow Laura, who lives in the 1950s, uh, and she's a 1950s housewife in a suburb in Los Angeles. And then we follow Virginia Woolf, who is writing Mrs. Dalloway. So I am really, really eager to read this. I have seen the movie a very long time ago, but it's such a short little thing. This is about just over 200 pages, so it should be very easy to get through. Next up, I definitely need to read A Visit from the Goon Squad by Jennifer Egan. Here we follow two people. We follow Benny, who's an aging former punk rocker and record executive, and then we also follow Sasha, who's a passionate, troubled young woman that he employs. And it's about their lives separately and their lives together um, and their, pa their pasts as well. So I've heard wonderful things about Jennifer Egan. I also have Manhattan Beach by her, her latest on my shelves as well. So I'm eager to dive into her work. Next up, I'm so excited to read The Road by Cormac McCarthy. This is a post-apocalyptic book about uh, a father and a son who are walking along the road and they're just trying to survive and not the nicest people are met on the road and they have to somehow survive. It's meant to be a very somber, very dark and gritty kind of read and I definitely want to be reading this soon. Next up I've got Middlesex by Jeffrey Eugenides. Now this is one of Stephanie over at That's What She Read. It's one of her favorite books of all time. So um, I picked it up because of that and also because it won the Pulitzer Prize. So in this book we follow um, Calliope Stephanides and three generations of Greek American Stephanides family. And they travel from Mount Olympus to Prohibition era Detroit. So in this book we are following little Calliope who is not like other girls and 
I, I don't know exactly what to expect from this, but I've heard such wonderful things that I know that I need to pick this one up. I also have to read The Known World by Edward P. Jones. So this follows Henry Townsend, a black farmer and a former slave. He falls under the tutelage of this man who's very um, established in this community of Manchester County, Virginia. Sadly, death takes him very, very quickly, and his wife, Caldonia, has to step in and take over. And it's about her struggle and basically things falling apart. It says that chaos ensues, so I'm assuming it doesn't work out very well. My mom read this some years ago and recommended it to me and said that it was wonderful, so I'm really excited to read this. Next up is the Pulitzer Prize winner that I know I'll be reading first out of all of these, and that is March by Geraldine Brooks. I'm so excited for this because I'm reading Little Women right now, and I knew I wanted to do that. I wanted to read Little Women and then move on to March because this is a retelling, essentially, of Little Women, and it comes from the perspective of Mr. March. Now, Mr. March went off to the Civil War, and it imagines what happened to him there. Um, in Little Women, they're all just waiting for Mr. March to come home, and here we follow him on his adventures and his experience in war. Now for the beast, The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt. This is huge. It is, oh gosh, over 700 pages. I'm very, very afraid of this book because it's gotten a lot of mixed reviews. Yes, it won the Pulitzer Prize, but it's also not loved by everyone and it follows a very unlikable character. We follow Theo Decker, who's in New York, and it sounds like we follow him throughout his childhood, but we also follow him as he grows up and makes horrible, horrible, horrible decisions in his life. Um, yeah, very nervous for this one. It'll probably be one of the last I read out of all of these, also just because of the length. Because you know me, I get really nervous with long books. Now, finally, we've got Gilead by Marilyn Robinson, and this is about a father's love for his children and it's meant to be incredibly heartwarming. I know Katie at Life Between Words really loves Gilead and I got this gorgeous gorgeous edition of Gilead um, at a used bookstore and I am very excited to read this one. So those are all of the Pulitzer Prize winning books that are on my shelves that are waiting, begging, asking for me to read them. Have you read any of these? Let me know in the comments below um, what you thought of the book that you read or the books that you read if you've read multiple ones of these. And also let me know where you think I should start. Like it, I'm definitely gonna read March 1st, but if there's something else in here that you think I'll really, really love and I'll put like second on my TBR list, uh, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know and I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye guys.